Like, I don't think you can get any clearer than that. That is insane. For this first one, you're gonna need Listerine, and I'm just gonna pour it into this cup. I'm supposed to take it to the freezer and let it freeze for about 20 minutes. All right, guys, don't miss a beat in this one because this is the most amazing slime recipe I have ever tried. To start out, we are gonna use some salt. And of course, get your cute little container. Maybe not with cracks. Mine has some cracks going down his back, but that's okay. And I'm gonna add some baking soda into that salt. And this is gonna be like a one to two ratio salt to baking soda. And you just wanna mix those two ingredients up to make one ingredient. So I mean, I guess you can't really mix it up, but you combine them pretty well. I thought I'd try my hand at flipping this, but uh, I failed miserably. You don't do that. The next ingredient that this recipe calls for is an empty water bottle. And to that water bottle, we are going to add in some Pantene Clear Shampoo because we're gonna attempt to make a clear slime, so you need clear shampoo as your base. You're gonna put only like one part of shampoo in this container, so a fourth. And to that, you're gonna also add in water. So it's gonna be a one to four ratio, four parts water, one part shampoo. If you have to run to the bathroom during this part, I get it, don't worry about it. Once you've got all your water in, it is time to stir it up. So stir it up good, guys. Stir it up. For this next part, if you have a funnel, uh, I suggest getting it out. I didn't have one on hand. I didn't know where it was, so I went in with my finger and I, just, I politely guided all of this baking soda and salt mixture into my water bottle. Um, not all of it made it, but the majority did, so we're good to go. Here comes the fun part, guys. Not only do we stir it up, we are gonna shake the mess out of it. Kinda reminds me of Bob Ross where he beats the devil out of it. He beats the devil out of his, his brush. I'm on a Bob Ross. See Bob Ross fans out there? You really do wanna shake it up really well because you're trying to incorporate all of those ingredients. You got soap, well, shampoo, water, baking soda, salt, and it's going to activate this into what we hope will be slime. So excited. So the next thing we're supposed to do is take it outside. So that's what I'm doing right here and put it in a sunny area because that will help with the activation process and just leave it for half a day. Next, for this slime recipe, we're gonna be using some close-up toothpaste. And from what I saw, um, the recipe that I'm copying, it doesn't really matter what toothpaste you use. So this is what I have on hand and this is what I'm using. Plus the color besides blue is, is, is a nice change. It's usually always blue or purple. Uh, you know, the crest that's blue and red makes purple, uh, duh. So all this goes into a cute little dish. And I have this little spreading tool that I use for cakes when I actually do make cakes and icing, um, which is not very often, sorry. And I'm just gonna spread this around. The recipe made sure to tell you to spread it evenly. So just like in my last video and the video before that, um, I am doing these exactly how I was instructed to do them about from pin Pinterest, I wanna say Pinstagram. <laughs> Pinterest and Instagram and YouTube. I am doing these exactly as they did them also. And let's see, are they real or are they fake? Once it's one nice even layer, you're going to add in some, drum roll, oh, hairspray. So we're just gonna spritz this on there and this will act as the activator. And you wanna give it a nice even coat. While I'm spraying this down, guys, go hit the notification button and, why do I keep doing that? And ring the subscribe bell, that would be awesome. We're gonna let this toothpaste concoction set for about 10 minutes and check on it later. This next one I thought was so exciting because it was with not like peel off face mask, but with a little sheet mask. I've never tried this before, so I was really intrigued to see if this one really does work. So I got this cute little kitty mask. I love kitties, I love doggies, who doesn't? 
And I'm just going to pull this out. And right now I can tell it has some slimy goo on it. I mean, this is going to be great. Right here, I'm trying to unfold this mask as easy as possible, or carefully, I mean. It's possible because I don't want it to rip. I really want to see the whole mask laid out flat. Oh, how cute! Can you imagine putting this on your face? Who has actually done this? I have never done this. After examining my little face mask and seeing how cute it was, I laid it in the bowl and we're gonna get to work here. So the face mask is gonna act as our activator. And I'm just gonna put some water in here to activate all the goo and goodness out of that face mask. All right, I'm just gonna let that soak a little bit and stir it up just to get all the good, I don't know what you call it, activators out of it. This one's gonna have glue. I know, I said no glue. Oh my gosh, she's lying to us. No, I'm not. This, this, you gotta do this, okay? Just do it. So I add a little bit of glue in here. And when we stir this up, we should, should hopefully get a slime. I cannot wait. So once you've added your glue, you're just gonna stir it up. Now carefully do that because you're going to hopefully get slime and you don't wanna mix it too fast because then it'll just be strings. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is a little glob of slime. I hope I can get more out of here. I'm gonna put this to the side and see what else I can get out of this bowl. Notice how clear this slime is too. I, I'm so excited. Wow. The glue, the glue, the uh, slime just keeps coming out of the bowl. I mean, this thing just keeps producing. It's awesome. All right, guys, so it's time to play with the slime. And like I said, it's still a little sticky, but I love how clear it is. I could probably add some more activator of some other sort, but I decided to just go ahead and let it be its own self and put it in a cup and let it just dry over a few days and see what happens. So after a couple days, this is what I got, guys. So let's see. You see it's really cleared up, which is exciting. And let's see if it thickened up. So it has thickened up. It's more of like a putty and it's super clear. Like, I don't think you can get any clearer than that. That is insane. And it's got a great stretch. It's still tad sticky, but guys, it is thick. It's much thicker than when I first put it in. I'm gonna make another slime, or I'm going to attempt to make another slime using another viral no glue slime recipe from another channel. So start in with some shampoo, a whole lot of shampoo. The next ingredient we are supposed to add is baking soda. This recipe didn't have a specified amount, but I put the amount of baking soda I thought would be needed for this amount of shampoo, and that was quite a bit. And then I'm just gonna stir this up. And guys, you already see it's kind of jelly-like, which is so exciting to me. And I'm loving that baby blue color as well. So I'm just gonna mix this up really, really well and a slime should form according to the recipe. So I'm excited to see that happen. Oh my gosh, guys, it is. Look at this. This is turning into a slime ball. It's like a cloud. It smells so amazing and fresh and it is very soft. I don't ever think I've made a slime with this consistency before. It's, it really is like a cloud. It is a tad sticky and a little bit slimy, ooey gooey. I mean, it is slime, it's gonna have slime, but it's a little, yeah, like that. It's sticking to me just a smidge. To add to its unusual texture, it's very jiggly. I, I love jiggly slime, this is really cool. Here's our toothpaste reveal from earlier. Is it slime? Wow, it's kind of slimy and it's kind of gooey on top. Um, I guess because it's toothpaste based. And yeah, it's, ew, I think it, it qualifies as a slime. 
I'm not sure it's my favorite. Yeah. Not too sure about this one. There's a lot of separation in there. Time to go check in on our water slime mixture and see if we got slime. And it looks like it has solidified. We're gonna take it in and check it out. I'm really excited because there are air bubbles, so it does look solidified. Hopefully it's not very slimy inside, but it's nice, a, light, a nice thick slime. <gasps> look at this, oh my gosh, it's slime. Okay, I'm gonna push some of this out to see if it's nice and thick or very slimy that we don't wanna play with. This is actually the best consistency. I mean, I love putty slimes. Those are probably my favorite, but this is a perfect consistency to add beads to because it's still a little sticky, but it's not so slimy you can't add anything to. So this is fantastic. I had to play with it more because I was having such a ball. Clear slime happens to be my all time favorite slime. Um, and I loved how I could swirl it right out of the bottle here. It's just super cool. And it is so clear, guys. You can see everything. Like, I can see the label. Like, oh my gosh. All right, guys, let's check in on our Listerine slime. So this is not it. This is our cold freezing Listerine. Now, JSH DIY says to add in some hairspray. And I decided to just pour it on in there because uh, it was taking forever. And it's supposed to activate and make slime, guys. So let's see what we get. Oh my gosh, guys, so there are, uh, there's some clumps in there. These little clumps are kind of slimy. They're not like thick slime. It's more like a shampoo slime, I guess, AKA hairspray, um, which is pretty fascinating. This is a cute little slime and it smells just like Listerine. Mmm, minzy fresh. The next recipe I'm testing out calls for some dish detergent and I have Ajax. I mean, I feel like that should work as well as Dawn or I wanna say ivory soap, but that's not a dish detergent, is it? Or is it? I, I don't know. So to that, I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt per the recipe that I have chosen to emulate. Have you looked it up yet? All right, to that, I am also gonna add in some orange dye just to make it a little more orangey. Let's see if this actually works. I mean, it is pretty orange already. Once I have thoroughly mixed the salt with the dish, dish detergents, uh, I'm gonna add in the next ingredient, which is clear Pantene shampoo. Does anyone else out there have allergies? Because you you know my, my problem here. It's hard to enunciate certain letters and words when your nose is totally clogged. Um, right, right at this moment, I'm clear and free and so happy. But it is a struggle to do a voiceover when uh, your voice is not quite right. All right, so that's going to be set and forget for about a week. It's very liquidy. To that, we are going to add in some baking soda. Now remember, I'm doing these recipes just as I saw them, and we're gonna see, are they real or are they fake? Do they really work? So I'm gonna go in and get a teaspoon of this baking soda, uh, once I get part of the box out of my teaspoon, and I'm just gonna add that into my toothpaste. While I'm doing this, guys, go hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That would be awesome. Once that's in, it is time to mix it up. And you wanna mix it up vigorously. Yeah, what about that word, vigorously? So mix it up really well, and then we're gonna set it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. This next recipe calls for some more clear shampoo, and I guess it doesn't have to be Pantene. If you have another kind, I don't think it's very particular. Um, and then we add sweet and low to it. Now to me, I was kind of shocked because from what I know, um, sugar tends to break down a slime. And so I figured it should break down this, but I was quite surprised because this isn't really sugar. It's a sugar substitute, which I don't understand that either, except for maybe diabetics. I don't really know. Why is there sugar substitutes? Anybody help me out. 
Here I am obviously, obvious, 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 ob I can't say the word, obviously mixing it up. And done. We're gonna set this up. Here's the reveal of our Pantene and Equal slime and this sat out for about a week and you see there's some bubbles still here it's not completely clear but man it looks really good so let's see wow i can fold it over itself so that is great that's a great sign that this might just be slime holy cow guys look at that stretch and look how glassy this is it really my mind is blown I mean, have you tried this one before? I mean, it thickened up quite a, a bit. And just like any clear slime, it's getting bubbly, bubblies in it and it's turning white. But that is pretty awesome. Here's our next reveal. It has been quite a while. Um, I think I let this one set about two weeks total. And this is what I got. Now, I love this orange color. I mean, orange is not my favorite color, but I really do like the hot oranges. Neon colors, they're all, they're all my faves. And look at this slime drizzle. This is amazing. Super clear, it thickened up, wow. If you haven't already, go hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. This next one is going to be using Vaseline, petroleum jelly, whichever you have on hand. And you're gonna take two big spoonfuls of this and put it inside your container or dish, whatever you're using. I have this cute little green bowl that has a split in it. Do you see that little split? But that's okay, it still holds. This is really greasy. So I'm really excited to see if this really does slime because it's greasy. I, I don't know, I haven't tried this before in the past. And to that, you're gonna add in some hand soap. Time to mix it up. What I notice immediately is that the soap is kind kind of like um, deteriorating the Vaseline a little bit. So it is making more of a slime mixture. This part right here took me a little while because I was really trying to incorporate that soap because I saw the promise in it and I wanted to keep going. Sometimes when you quit too early, you don't get the end result that you're looking for. So I wanna give this recipe my everything. Next is going to be salt. We're supposed to add salt into this recipe. That is your activator. And then you're gonna mix that up really, really well. The salt is supposed to help it dry out and form into a slime, but we won't know that for about a week. So I'm gonna let this set in a cute little container and I'm gonna store it on my counter and we'll check back in about a week. And your time ends in about two minutes. So I saved you that time. You're welcome. Oh yeah, and make sure your container has a lid because uh, yeah, you want it to dry out, but you don't want stuff getting in it either. That's gross. Off to quarantine for you. We'll see you in a little bit. Here is my toothpaste reveal. Let's see what we got. Did it work? Did it not? Let's find out. Look at that stretch. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? That's got some really good stretch. Wow, I wonder if it's sticky. Let's test it out. I had a little bit of difficulty getting it out of the container because it is a little bit sticky, uh, but not so sticky that it's not playable or pliable. It's, yeah, anyway, it had a really good feel to it. It's kinda, it kind of reminds me of a white base slime. The baking soda must really do something with a chemical reaction to the toothpaste to get it this stretchy. All right guys, I saw this one on the internet and I wanted to try it out. So first you're gonna put in some styrofoam balls and I kind of did this as an extra because I like to add a little bit of flair to my slime. So it's not just a boring bleh slime, meh. So I have these colorful confetti colors and they're so exciting and fun, I love it. So to that, we're gonna add in some whole milk. Yours doesn't have to be organic. I just like that better. So after adding my milk, I'm going to mix this up really well because you want to incorporate all these beautiful colors. And this really reminds me of some kind of cereal. It's making me hungry. So next ingredient, Red Bull, guys. Let's see, will Red Bull really give you wings and slime? 
I am so pumped. I can't wait to see what happens with this. So after you pour in your Red Bull, you're gonna mix it up really well and place it in your fridge overnight. Hey guys, while I'm mixing this up, go hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That's awesome, thanks so much. All right guys, it has sat in my fridge overnight and this is what I got. Oh my goodness. Look at that stretch, guys. Oh my gosh. What? Wow. Red Bull and milk. I'm doing a milk slime? This is amazing. Red Bull and milk make this super stretchy slime. Wow. So Red Bull really is an activator? That's crazy. I saw this next recipe on another YouTuber's channel and I wanted to try this. Um, they take some toothpaste. I mean, I don't really need the whole tube, not really. Um, and they take some blue tack. And I know that blue tack has done cool stuff in the past, but I've never done it with toothpaste. So I wanted to try it and see if it's real or fake. Does it really work? Are they lying? Let's find out. So first I'm going to just stretch this and try to get it more stretchy, I guess is the word. I don't know. Nimble, malleable, malleable. Let's use that word. That's a big one. So I'm just kneading it between my hand and basically just stretching the mess out of it just so it will soften up a little bit. Um, and to that, I'm gonna add in some of this Colgate toothpaste. I tried to make a cute little swirl. It did not happen. And I tried to let you see all the cute little flecks in it. That didn't happen either. My, my uh, camera would not focus. Focus, focus, focus. It won't do it. So this one, you will get a little bit dirty, but man, it smells like spearmint in here. And spearmint's actually my favorite, even more than peppermint. Um, am I the only one? I really like spearmint. I had to add in toothpaste a couple of times to really get it stretchy because one time just wasn't enough. So this is getting a little more stretchy, but I believe I added toothpaste in one more time, but look at this, look at that stretch. It really does make a cool stretchy slime if you have both of these ingredients at home. It almost acts like a cloud dough almost because it has like the soft little bits in it. Um, it's a really neat texture, so I suggest y'all try this one. All right, guys, it's time to reveal this Vaseline slime. I cannot wait. Wow, are you serious? It's a little greasy still, but not much at all. And guys, look at this stretch. Wow, I really enjoyed playing with this. It's so soft. You can almost use this one like a uh, skincare slime. Is there such thing, skincare slime? Because it's great on my hands. It's making my hands softer too. And it has amazing pokes. So on another channel, I saw them try this one and I wanted to you know, see if it's real or not real. So you add in some color. I decided to do mine purple. And to that, you're gonna add in a little bit of salt. The next ingredient is pepper. I have never used pepper before, but uh, that's what the recipe calls for, so I'm gonna add in some pepper. All right, gonna mix this up. Now it's time to add in some water. So this is supposed to be like a water slime. I am very intrigued. Um, I really wonder what that pepper does. After you've mixed it up, you let it set out for two days. Testing this next slime, I'm gonna start out with some three-in-one shampoo. Now, I've never done this one before, so I can't wait to try it. To that, I am supposed to add in some toothpaste, a gel-like toothpaste, and this looks gel to me. This is AIM, if you can't read. Okay, guys, now it's time to mix these ingredients up. So, 
you are supposed to mix these up really thoroughly. That's why it's taken me forever. But I want to tell you, I do love some toothpaste slime because we always have toothpaste in my house, in which I hope you do too. And that way you can always have a slime to play with. Yes. Next, we're going to take it to the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. You don't want to do more than 30 seconds because it could blow up all over your microwave. I don't, I don't think your microwave will actually blow up, but the toothpaste will definitely blow it all up. Now, don't look too close at my microwave because it is technically clean. It's really dirty, but uh, I'm going to go ahead anyway. So once this is done, this is how it should look. Like, you don't want to dry this completely out because you can't. There's no shampoo in it. But the side should look like that from the video I watched. Um, that's how his looks. So to that, we're going to add in some salt. Now, again, don't add too much because then it'll just turn liquid because it will just melt your slime. But just to keep mixing it and hopefully a slime is going to form. I'm hoping. I keep mixing. And eventually, I'm not kidding, like five minutes later, we have a slime. Now, this slime is sticky and gooey because it does have a toothpaste base. But guys, this, this looks like a slime to me. For this next recipe, we are supposed to use some suave shampoo. And to that, we are to add some aloe vera. And then we're just supposed to mix it together. And it looks like it's coming together already. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the stretch. And it's grabbing the sides. Those are great indicators that it will become slime. So let's keep going here. This looks really good. I'm really excited. So to that, they told us to add in salt. And I'm not going to add in all this salt. No, not really. So you just kind of sprinkle it over. And after you've sprinkled all your salt in it, you're supposed to mix it up really, really well. And then we're supposed to let it just sit out on a shelf or a table for 24 hours. We'll check back. In a little bit. All right, guys, it's been 24 hours. Is this slime? Oh my gosh, it's got great pokes. And it's folding over itself and it's one whole mass. I mean, this is incredible. This acts just like a slime. It's got a little bit of jiggle, it stretches a little bit, it's got thwocks. I can't get over the pokes. I'm gonna take it out and see if I can stretch it. Wow, look at this no glue stretch. This one has sat for two days. Let's see what we got. Nuh uh. So apparently, the pepper with the salt does something to this water. We have a regular slime. First goes in some water. Now add some salt. And stir it up. I had a knife on hand, watch out. Make sure this is completely dissolved and stirred together because you want no salt bits left in there. So next is some hand soap, guys. Yeah, we don't have time for that. We're just gonna pour the whole thing in. And if you look closely, you might see the little Lego piece that we have in there, because that was gonna be another video that we never did. So, goodbye. We're never gonna do you. And I'm using all your soap. Once we are done adding the soap, we are to stir this up, and guys, it's supposed to form some slime. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Is that slime my eyes do see? Wow, that is so cool. Like the salt activates the, the soap. And this is a little bit sticky, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it in this container for a couple days to help it dry out. And we're gonna check back in on it later. And guys, this has been like two days it sat and it's cleared up and it's thickened up too. This is beautiful. Who knew that making slime could be so easy? That is awesome. So guys, have y'all ever made any of these? What do you think? Are they real or fake? Let us know in the comments below.